Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, did I uh, just kind of talk about how it went down? Were you surprised to get a call from the Bills? Had you been hearing from your agent for a couple weeks about them? Or what, how did it go? Yeah, I was um, to the point I was kind of surprised. Um, you know, I was home the whole time just working out. And, um, you know, me and Coach Chad, we kept in contact. And, you know, I was texting him, and I told him I was still working out and everything. So, you know, I was able to um, send him some videos of me working out. And, you know, I ended up getting a call. When, did, when was it? When did you get the call? Um, Wednesday, I think the day before Thanksgiving, you know, I ended up getting a call. What do you think? Drilled? How happy are you? How do you feel about being here? Oh, I was excited about it. Um, you know, definitely when I got here, it felt like home. When they was picking me up from the airport, I thought I was going back to my house. So, you know, it's already home for me. Oh, just the way you treat it, you know, um, the the way the organization treats you, the way the the fans and just the whole town of Buffalo, they treat us with a whole bunch of respect, and you don't find many places like that. So um, to be able to come back and just to be part of it, you know, it's, it's a great thing because I, I watch every game, you know, since I left, I've been rooting the guys on. I still stayed in contact with a lot of people. I was excited to see everybody. I can't even put a name on it. I was just happy to see everyone I seen, you know, I was just happy. You know, it was just nice, you know, getting a hug, you know, from everyone. Where do you think your game is now compared to when we last saw you here in Buffalo? I feel like my game is way better. I'm to the point where I'm healthy now. You know, I dealt with a lot of injuries, so I had a whole bunch of time to heal up and, you know, get my mind and my body right. No, Josh already been a pro. Like he don't have to give me no credit, but you know, just um, he elevates every year. You know, he gets better and better, and you know, it it doesn't amaze me at all. You know, like I say, when I sit up there and I I watch him, you know, he just takes control of the game, and you know, he dominated, he execute. So it's like every year he's been progressing and getting better. Whatever they need me to do, you know, I'm just here to to help out, you know, do as much as I can. You know, whatever they whatever they ask me to do, I would do it. You know, I've always been a team player, you know, so I'm just excited about it, you know. I don't have much worries about it. No, it's already coming back to me. You know, I, I always kept the plays, you know, I kind of looked over them a little bit, you know, time after time or – even when I watch the game, I call certain plays out, but it's it's definitely coming back to me. It's just a it's a great receiver room, you know. Even when I look at it, you know, I give I give credit to him, and you know, I even told Bean like he's been doing a great job just to see the receiver room with the with the guys that were here after I left, the new guys that are here, and like he has guys that step up and make plays. So, you know, it never goes unnoticed, the people that he bring in, because he's always bringing a piece in that, that is going to come in and be ready to work. So are you catching up with Diggs over here a little bit earlier? What's, what's that like in getting to back with him? Oh, you know, um, you know Diggs is just a, a funny guy. You know, um, he's just and always in good spirits, good to be around. And, you know, we just talking and, you know, just, you know, he, he hit me with the old jokes now. So, you know, I got to take that. <laughs> If they needed me to play today, I'll be ready to play. Um, you know, um, that's all. But um, it doesn't take long for me to, you know, to pick up everything, you know, to get my mind right. So whatever this team need me to do, you know, I'm, I'm just here to do it. You know, 2020, you were, all, you 
were banged up a lot of the season and you know you didn't weren't able to put up John Brown production, you know, mm-hmm. regardless of numbers, but John, you know, because you were banged up and you know the way the NFL is, you get over thirty and you're banged up mm-hmm. and you know, they look the other way, you know. Was, yeah. was that hard? because uh, you knew that you're still every bit the guy you were in twenty nineteen. Yes, it, it definitely it was hard, you know, just to um to deal with it. But you know, me being at home, I have a beautiful family. You know, I was able to you know actually spend time with the kids, and you know that was something I was missing the whole time. And you know, I def you know they give me headaches, so it was like, all right, now it's time for me to go. I gotta go. You know, like the headaches was coming in and out, but I definitely, you know, I got to experience something I never got to experience, you know, my time of playing ball. So just, um, yeah, I found something new, but, you know, I'm here to work now and I'm excited about it. You know, my family definitely excited. How many kids now? I have three. I still got three. All girls. <laughs> Do you feel like you have a different appreciation for the game down here coming back to it? Yes, I definitely do. Um, I definitely do have a, you know, I appreciate it, but just being here, you know, being at this spot, here go the funny guy again. But uh, definitely being here at this spot, um, to come back here, you know, it makes you appreciate it more. Like you see the people that appreciate you, and you know you appreciate them, and it make you love everything even more. Thank. You.